Here we have a beautiful shot of a girl, but there are some small areas I'd like to retouch. And my favorite tool for wiping away the years or removing imperfections is the patch tool. If I zoom in with View Zoom In, or I like to use Command Plus on the Mac or Control Plus on Windows, I can wheel up with my mouse and see just a bit of creases here on the right and the left. Everything else is really flawless, possibly a little blemish down here. So underneath the Spot Healing Brush Tool and Healing Brush Tool is my favorite patch tool. And the way I describe the patch tool is you make a selection around the bat. I just did a rough loop by clicking and dragging around. I let go and get in the middle of the selection and drag to good skin. And when I click once away, it is completely wiped out. I'll try it on this crease. Sometimes these creases are actually caused by the digital camera seeing too much detail or sharpening too much. So you may not even notice this when you're looking at her real live in person. So I made my selection of what I'd like to remove. I let go. I get in the middle of it and I drag to good skin. When I click away, it's gone. And on this spot, I'm going to attempt to keep the little dimple there because that looks good. I was also very careful not to remove her mole. It's part of her face. It's a beauty mark. I've heard of celebrities when they're put on magazine covers that the correctors always remove moles that are part of their face and they wish they would stay. So I try to leave the characteristics that describe the person. I'm going to get in the middle, drag to good skin, and let go. And when I click away, it's nearly flawless. In fact, this is great for removing dark circles under the eyes. They can often be caused by lighting or lack of sleep. But these creases are so subtle, it makes the image look natural. And I don't want to remove it in this case. But I did notice a little bit on the neck. This can also happen because of lighting, or some people just have naturally more creases there that might be more obvious in digital shots. So I'll make a nice long selection, let go, and drag down. And do the same for the next one below. The patch tool works beautifully on scratches and tears in photos, on five o'clock shadows, the little chapter 11, those vertical lines you can get between eyebrows. She's far too young to have those. So if I zoom into her face, I hit Control Plus or Command Plus, and I take a look at my history panel. I've done a few things, but I can click on the word Open to see Before, and click on Deselect to see After. And sometimes I like to blend a little bit more. I always check myself before I close a file. If I don't like what I'm doing, I'll step backward. But keep in mind, most people aren't going to have the ability to zoom in as far as we are in Photoshop. So I'm going to leave this before, after. And that is my all-time favorite anti-aging patch tool.